Greetings and hello everybody. Welcome to a first look at Rogue Summoner. This is a game that is coming out on Steam in about three weeks on September 3rd, 2020. It is a dungeon crawling game. Uh, it's got permadeath. Um, it's got puzzle elements and it's turn-based. And uh, we'll take a quick peek at the options before heading in. Uh, my friend did try it out for a little bit, and uh, so I have a general idea of what to expect. Um, I kept the music on just a little bit, just in case you wanted to hear. And you can see there's resolution support up to 4K, which is what I'm playing on. And let's just head in and uh, start. As you can see, it's uh, got a few different... Um, unlockable missions by a few I mean actually quite uh, quite a lot so wow okay I we got nothing unlocked so let's do the warm-up and do the tutorial and see how far we can get hello fellow summoner I am pleased to see that you'll try to complete the labors of rogue summoner each time you fail a dungeon, you must try again from the start, and it will not be the same. You're certainly familiar with our craft, but I beg you, let me remind you of its most important points before you start. Monster Essence. Before you can summon a monster, you must collect its essence. We summoners are no warriors. We invoke powerful monsters to fight in our stead. Move to the essence, and then step through the door. To go to the next room, you can move with the arrow keys, with WSD, or by clicking the destination. Alright, so, let's just do that. We've got something here. Dracon Hatchling. Dracons are powerful magical creatures, even in their instant infant years, can be summoned for 10 MP. It's like they got 4 health, 2 attack, and for, I don't know, or maybe two movement and four, I don't know. Alright, let's move on. Combat. Combat happens in turns. Firstly, you set up your turn by placing monsters, runes, and potions. When you're ready, you press play. Play turns, sorry. When you do, the enemy monsters will take their turns after that. After them, your monsters will play. Each monster has a specific behavior. Master it to use them effectively. Summoning monsters. Let's summon the monster that you just acquired in the previous screen. Click on the monster icon in your loadout, or press the numeral key 1, and then place it next to the enemy. Seems like a bad idea, but... Burned! Strategic placement. That didn't turn out as expected. Because of the enemies, always play first. You can't just randomly place your summons. You'll have to know their behavior and predict how the battle will turn out. Remember that summoning costs mana points. If you don't have enough mana points to make a move, you will fail. A new turn. Because I've been slaying Dracon for decades, I can help you out. Place another monster a bit further down play another turn. You can also use the space key to press turns. Alright, so, um, after you successfully clearing the area, you're back controlling the summoner, move on forward. Alright, so now we're on our own. Alright, so, Alright, so this means that this thing moves two spaces and then attacks the spaces next to it. So, I mean, we should be okay here. Sorry if you see my mouse undergo some random funky it clicks. It's been double clicking lately and that's really annoying. So I'm going to need a new mouse kind of soon. 
Nicely done, you've just leveled up. Destroying enemy monsters earn you experience points. When you level up, you can upgrade certain abilities. Click the Upgrade Skills button to upgrade your max mana with the acquired skilled points. The more mana you have at your disposal, the more monsters you can summon. Alright, so we will upgrade mana. It's not like it's giving us any other options. Alright, so that's done. I don't know how to regain mana. So, we'll move on. Oh, 41. That is, uh... Oh, oh, okay. That's fine. Maybe that's, uh, saying total there's going to be... You can level up 41 times, I don't know. Using mana effectively, that's a lot of enemies. See that you have 20 mana points. It means you can only place up to two dragon hatchlings. You'll have to make good use of them. If you place a summoned creature between the two enemies, it may hit them both with one strike. Remember, you can use the number keys to place a monster faster. Alright. And uh, you can use the scroll wheel to... Or QE to um, rotate them so they're facing the right direction. Uh, this is actually telling me what to do. Which is fine. These monsters, this is a safe place. Wait, what? Hold your horses, monsters must face up. Really? Why is that? Wait, that was not right. Your monster will actually move up before attacking. They will only hit one enemy. Luckily, you can remove a monster if it hasn't played a turn yet. Right click to take it back. Okay. Good, now you must make the monster face right. This way you'll move to the middle of the two enemies and destroy them all when placing a monster rotated by pressing the arrow keys, WSD, or the scroll wheel. Yeah, so basically, I'm still in the tutorial, don't get ahead of myself. Alright. We did restore all our mana, and the more monsters one kills, the more skill points one gains. We'll work it out. That looks like an experience bar, maybe. Aha! So now we're on our own. Looks like I can just take whatever turns I wish. Nice summoning work. This room contains a potion chest. If you walk to it, you'll be rewarded one of many possible potions. Potions will give you an edge in combat, if you use them wisely, of course. Let's go check out the chest. New health potion. Has the ability to increase the health of whoever drinks it. Where's my health? I don't even see a health bar, so let's just move on. I'm sure it'll get explained. New monsters. There are new, lots of new monsters in the world, and you'll come across dozens of them in your adventures. You must learn each one's behavior carefully. Whenever you defeat a new monster, its essence will drop, and you can add it to your loadout. Use and combine different uh, creatures creatively to become the best summoner. Fresh all turns. You've been playing one turn at a time, but so far you're in confident in your strategy. You choose to play the entire combat in only one turn. Or rushing all turns. If you rush, you'll not be able to summon more monsters in the middle of the battle, so if you don't defeat the monsters, you'll lose, even if you still have mana. Rushing all turns will reward you extra mana when the combat ends, so it may be very useful. I don't know how much restores. I'll help you place the monsters so you can win the combat in one turn. Place the Dragonite Hatchley on the bottom left. It'll move up and defeat the Slimy Decay.
Wait, what? Doesn't that sound like a bad idea? Doesn't that look like this thing is going to come in? <laughs> okay. Good. Now we'll replace the dragon and destroy the two enemies in one hit. It must face right. You'll be hit by the slime in its turn though, so use the health potion on your monster by right clicking on the it and then on your monster. You'll be able to take more damage before dying. In time you'll be able to create your own strategy to defeat the most powerful monsters in the world. So I gotta press do so has to face right. Right. Okay. That's it. Rush all turns. One times one one point five X mana multiplier. Take some time to get used to, but oh, that is fine. That is fine. So I guess the health potion is more used on your monsters. Essence. Right. So this game, you can summon things that you destroy. So now we know. Uh, slime decay. When evil matter decays, slime grow. This one didn't develop much yet. It requires five MP. All right. So it's got one attack. Hack, two movement, two health. All right, let's move on. And so, okay. Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. I think I get it. So these slimes attack in one direction. Alright, so... what to do here. I'd like to find a space that's suitable. Let's get rid of the slime, I guess. That's one thing there. And I think this is a good place to put that, and then that should do it. We'll try it. Limited loadout, good one. This room has two juicy chests, but as you can see from your loadout, you only have one potion slot. Try opening both chests and see what happens. Mana potion. Destroying items. See, there's no room for this new potion, but notice you've got a mana potion and your mana is still full. It should be much better to remove it from your inventory and make room for the new potion. There are cases where it's preferable to destroy an item, make room in the inventory. To destroy a mana potion, right click and select destroy. Right, let's see what this is. New 
haste potion. Makes whoever drinks it be able to move farther. I guess you can give a man a, a, a haste potion to a creature of yours and make move along a little bit farther. Okay. Um. Did I go in the wrong direction? Turn order. In the left part of your screen, you can see the turn order interface from the bottom to top. Where? Is this thing? Oh, here. Ah, okay, interesting. I did not see that. From bottom to top, it shows you order in which monsters will play in the combat. You can hover the monster over the monster name in the order, turn order, interface to see where it's located on the grid. Your monsters will also appear there. Once you place them, you can alert, alter the order your monsters will play by clicking and dragging their names. Gotcha. Alright, so, no slimy decay. A couple of hatchlings, I know that. Alright, so they play in that order. So let's see what happens if I... Oh, my monster actually placed first. Well, that's not what I would want. Interesting. So that has basically a faster movement speed. Um, where would you go? Oh, also first. Well, I mean, if you're going to move first, might as well just do that, right? Does that make sense? Huh. That seems like all I have to do. Let's see what happens. No, that didn't work. It's in the other order. Ah! <laughs> you rushed all waves and your monsters died. If you rush all waves and lose the battle, you'll be defeated, even if you have some mana left. If you fail in the real labors, you'll have to restart the journey from the st start the journey from the start, and all the dungeon will have changed. For now, I will simply revive you. Try to understand what, what the monsters will do and make your strategy accordingly. Well, I was mistaken about the actual appearance of things. So, that is still, uh, so everything plays before me. Um, I meant to put one of these here. And... That leaves that thing. I don't have to... Well, let's just see. Move over one, attack. This thing is going to come over this way. And then it can move two. While well, mine can move one, attack, and... Might still be okay. I'm not entirely certain how this is going to turn out, so I'm going to see what happens here. Yeah, okay, good. Let's see what's in there. New rune. Energy rune costs five soul points and does four points of energy damage in a three by three area. I don't want to destroy it. I want to. Uh, it's just required a rune. It can be used in combat. The cost of soul points located next to mana. This. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, look. That went in the wrong direction again. Pardon me. Uh, I will be able to upgrade skills real soon. Runes. We summoners learn runic spells from the sorceress, and they are a great addition to our arsenal. 
click on a rune icon on your loadout and then a location to place it. Notice they'll appear in the turn order interface just like your summons and they will only be cast in their turn. But rune spells consume your soul points located next to your mana. These only replenish when you level up but luckily you're almost there. Very nice, very nice. Well. Oh, it comes at the end. Uh, can you undo a rune? Well, either way. Seems like you cannot undo a rune. Okay, well, maybe let's just do that. <laughs> and then I'll just move on to the actual combat of things and hmm Do that to start. Actually, I have enough mana to just kind of do everything. Oh, I can't rush turns anymore because. Going down, the labors involve dungeons that run deep to, into the earth. Of course, you can always press tab or M to pull up a map and orient yourself. As you move on, the challenges will get harder and harder. I have summoned a powerful creature in the floor below to finish your warm up before you go. However you feel, whenever you feel ready, step into the platform. There, oh gotcha. Well, let's, we got two skill points for the level up. We can increase mana or rush bonus and yeah, seems like mana is a good thing to do yeah, move on cost a bit more to level up but let's uh, I assume this is like the here's the monster in the description, the Morthgal. Um, okay, so let's see, what is this? That's okay. Got a hatch. Oh, oh, whoa. Hello. Okay, I guess this is what it's going to show. It moves and it attacks. And it attacks. Quite a ferocious pattern. Don't know if this is going to work out. Let's just see where this goes. Oh no! I did not realize it's a healing.
It is a healing. Okay. How do I? Wait, you can't undo. Okay. Well, probably my own fault then. Uh, got myself in trouble here. trouble, aren't I? Haste potion. I don't think I'll be able to do much. Well, I suppose we'll That still didn't move it up. So, I think I'm in trouble. Yeah, I am in deep, deep trouble. I don't have mana either. So, well, this, this game is over. Before you even started. Not much I can do now. All my monsters are defeated. Um, <laughs> Alright, can't beat the tutorial level. It's kind of sad. Um, I can start with knocking off these or these? Yeah, I, I think. Um... One, two, one, attack. One, two, one, attack. I might be able to get away with start this way. Because they're not moving. And this thing is not going to come over and heal this thing. So I can just do that. And the slime is slowly taking damage. Or maybe I'm misinterpreting that as well. But I can certainly start this turn by Causing some damage, I guess I could play some. I could just... Draw this one away. But then, well, let's just see what happens here. Oh, it gains damage the more it moves. Uh huh. Okay, so that's not a good thing. Does that make it? I don't know. 
No, it does not. Okay, so I misunderstood the nature of things. Let's just do this. Ten damage. And it's going to be attacking that one next. Oh, I don't have mana for that one. Alright. That works. The laborers of the Rune Summoner. You have certainly showed your strength, friend. You might actually be able to complete all laborers and become a rogue summoner. But if you don't, another summoner will certainly start the path to become a truly rogue. And maybe he'll have a better understanding of the creatures. I wish you the best of luck in your adventures. You will need it. Chiron Toot Real. Real. Alright, so. <laughs> well, that was um, interesting. I, uh. I got. I mean, it's, the tutorial's not bad. It's a good way to show you what the game is all about, anyway. Library, nothing yet. Bestiary, we have... I guess the two that you can summon. So these are all the different creatures that you can summon. Uh, by defeating them in battle over time. Cool. Yeah. So... Ah, so here, here, here's the one that we've defeated in the tutorial. You must defeat ten creatures of this kind to reveal it. Uh, nine creatures remaining. So, okay, very good, very good. Um, so there you have it, Rogue Summoner. It's coming out in three weeks. So far, the tutorial levels, pretty good. Um, as for the rest of it, I think it'll be decent. It's pr pr partly procedurally generated, so it's going to be a bit varied in terms of difficulty, I'm sure. But... I hope it's just going to be fair. That That's all I'm looking for. Uh, we'll play more and decide what happens. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, it's so hot. It's, uh, it's summer, so my ears are quite sweaty. I'm not going to play any more on video. Uh, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, let me know what you think about this game as well. It's coming out in about three weeks. So, you know, go check it out. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.